You know when you're laughing, it's already a no-go. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. You know what time it is when it's set up like this. I got another try on haul from Zara. I'm so excited to share with you what I got. It's a lot of one piece love up in here. Clearly, you know I live in rompers. So I'm trying to bring the summer in with a lot of rompers, jumpsuits, that type of thing. So let's get right into it. This top right here is giving me sporty vibes. I don't know if it's the texture of it or because it's a super light fit. It's the lightest weight material I've ever tried. I don't know what kind of sorcery this fabric is, but I'm here for it. This is gonna be perfect on those super humid summer days. You know those days where you don't want anything sticking to your body. I don't know if this is supposed to be athleisure or what. Maybe it's even gym attire, because you know, Zara likes to dabble in everything, but I like this. It gives me Lori Harvey vibes, even though I know she didn't popularize the one-off shoulder thing. This has been around for a minute. And I remember wearing a lot of these tops, what, like five, six years ago, and then I fell off and now I'm falling back in. So that's the thing with trends. I kind of wish I didn't give away all those tops because now I'm buying them again, but I like it. I would wear this like this. I don't think I would try to dress it up, maybe sweatpants if anything. It's just one of those pieces that I just feel like you pop on when you don't really want to care about what you wear, but still look put together. Not me. Alternate look. I wasn't feeling how the yoga legs look with this. So I threw on a pair of joggers, even though I hate these joggers. These are my only black pair. I need to work on that. I need to get a nice pair of sleek black sweatpants. I think they're a staple. I should do a sweatpant lookbook. But anyway, let's stick to the program. This is definitely giving me more of what I was hoping for with this. What's next in my little bag of tricks? Ooh. I see what I did here. This is definitely vacation vibes, although I have no trips planned anytime soon. There's a huge fine if you leave and come back, so I'm not trying to pay that. <laughs> you know when you're laughing, it's already a no-go. Oh boy. I had hopes for this, but it's it's this is this is not it. I don't know if it's because it's too loose on me. It is a small and the Zara Basics, which when I worked at Zara, they always told me that Zara Basics was bigger than Trafalouk. I have grown a little bit since my Zara day, so I really was hoping I would fit into this. This is, I wonder if I could shrink it in the dryer because I could definitely see this as beach attire. It'd be perfect for something that you throw on as a cover up over a nice bikini, or if you're gonna have a picnic at the park and you just wanna be comfortable and you don't know what you wanna wear, but you wanna still look chic, you know? It's not doing what it's supposed to do. I hope there's more luck in this box. Wait. She done did it again. As a visually impaired person, sometimes I'll accidentally put two things in a cart not realizing, but I've never done that with two separate orders. This is a first. So we already know this is a no for me. Okay, what else is in this box? Ooh, should I try on the nude or should I try on the green? Let's do green next. This is literally a towel, but I love it, okay? I love that it's mint because I've been really into mint this year for some reason. My agenda is mint. The last aloe yoga bra I bought, it was mint. My nails are mint. Both of my nails are mint. I'm really into mint right now. This is not really doing anything. I got a pool right beside my building. So, I mean, this would be a good thing to throw on whenever I want to just go downstairs to catch some sun or to take a quick dip. But it's not really for anything else. This is not something I would wear down the street or anything. It's just, it's a towel. It's literally a towel that Zara stitched together for $39 or $29. What does it say? You can probably see that more clearly than me from there than I can from here. <laughs> but I like it. It's really soft, super comfortable. Yeah, I could definitely see myself like, you know when you come out of the pool, but it's too cold to dry without something on? You could throw this on, literally pat yourself dry because it's a towel, and then you're good to go. We're getting closer to what I was looking for, but this is still not quite it. I love the crochet, don't get me wrong. This very neutral twine color. It's life. I love it. It's a very hippie but chic kind of vibe. What a hip's at. <laughs> it comes with a zipper though, which is really good because I feel like you could get it cinched in if you wanted to. I usually don't get my Zara clothes tailored just because I'm not paying for that when it comes to Zara. Maybe a higher end brand, but not with Zara. But maybe if it was like cinched in in the right places, this would be giving, but it's just not. It's just not. Wow, is this haul gonna be a flop? 
so far. No bueno, no. This with the beach bag, pink toes, and a hat would be so, so cute. How about that? A hat. I don't know, I wanna love this. I really wanna love this. But it ain't it. Shopaholics Anonymous, we don't buy clothes to buy clothes. We buy clothes to get make the fit. I had real hope for this one, but it's a no for me. What is this? Is this, a, is this supposed to be loose? Is this supposed to be tight? Is this coming or going? What's good? Like, okay, I get it if it's loose like this, but then what's all of this? I can't even take my bra off. Then I'm exposing myself. It's weird because the model made it look like it was tight. I'm just, no, just no. So if I keep pulling it, what does that do for the front? Nothing. I know where I can go with this. There's nothing I can do with this. Tragic. Tragic. And I pulled the strings as tight as I can. Any tighter, it's gonna look really weird up here. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Remember in the last haul, I said that jumpsuit was giving me Teletubby vibes? No, no, no. This right here is Teletubby vibes. I don't know if I'm Dipsy, Lala, or Poe, or which one, but I'm that yellow one. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> It looks so good online. I was really hoping. It was the back that really sold me on this piece. I'm really into cutouts. I just think that it's very sexy and sophisticated without being too much. But with this, I feel like it's exposing my breakfast. Like you guys don't need to know. Food baby on the way. Eh, like it sucks because it's so soft to touch and I'm all about the feel of fabrics. Because I'm visually impaired, I pay attention to things like the way a texture feels more than anything or the way an essential oil smells. That's just my excuse to buy more things. Let's just be real. But I always love when the stitching is different and I like that this texture is something I don't have in my wardrobe already. It just gives an extra oomph to a very basic piece, which is why I really wanna love this, especially since it actually fits. Unlike anything else I tried in this haul this time, this one is snatched but not snatched like the Naked Wardrobe brown jumpsuit that I was wearing at the beginning of this, because that one can't breathe. I can't breathe and it'd be exposing me. This one at least has some give, but it's also giving Teletubbies, so I don't know. <laughs> That's it for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, let me know by tapping the like button. Comment down below what your favorite piece was. If you didn't have a favorite, let me know what your favorite store is. I know this haul was a little tricky for me too. So anywho, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that stuff to show you care. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.